Good morning, fellas. Good morning. Ah, take a seat. How are you doing? How are you doing? Ah. So, 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 tell me what I can do for you. Well, I've been thinking about a future career, but I'm not sure what path to follow. Maybe you could point me in the right direction? Hmm. Yeah, me too. I'm kind of torn between uh, biology and medicine, but I do hear there's a little theory involved. Okay, well, the options open to you are quite similar, yet your options are a bit more limited. You see, you're an adult stem cell, so you're what would be called a multipotent cell. Uh, what's multipotent? Multipotent. It's from the Latin, meaning many powers. Cool. Like Superman, yes? Uh... Yeah, a bit. However, being an ASC does limit your career options quite a bit. Where are you living at the moment? I'm living in the Bulmar of the Humors. Ah, uh, well, you have a few options open to you as it stands. You could, of course, just click on your inbuilt gene and express yourself as a blood cell. We're always looking for new red and white cells, and you could be either, depending on whether you want to hang on to your nucleus or not. On the other hand, it would be possible for you to get reprogrammed, and then you could develop your options a lot more. For instance, how would you like to be launched into a new person to help them fight off leukemia? Leukemia? Yeah, it's a nasty cancer of the blood. It can be overcome by what's called a bone marrow transplant, which basically involves putting new eager cells of yourself in to take the place of damaged cancer cells. That sounds excellent. So what about me? Oh, you. Well, you're a different kettle of fish altogether. You see, you're pluripotent, and the world is your oyster. Sorry, what? Pluripotent. You see, you're only a youngster. Embryonic, in fact. So you can potentially be whatever you want. Pluripotent is another word from the Latin, but this one means very many powers. Could I not be pluripotent? Well, technically, yes. It might be possible to force your gene expression and turn you into an IPSC. What's an IPSC? An induced pluripotent stem cell. Then you might have the same capabilities as our young embryonic friend here. So, can you tell me more about my options? Sure, why not take a tour with me now? Who are they? Them guys, they're nerve cells. They have to be lightning fast, and they have cool myelin jackets. I like running, maybe I've become one of them. And these cells are muscle cells. They have to be very strong they have to work well as a team. It looks like hard work. And these cells are also last, bone cells. They have to be very strong. So now you've seen a few options, and this brochure will show you a few more. Uh, what if I want to go to medicine? What could I do? Well, that's also a possibility, although a lot of options are on your research site at the moment. And finally, here's a challenge to You might be able to take your space in other articles and help them to move in. Don't you think that's a bit controversial? I mean, he could be the seed for a whole new organism rather than just for a replacement for a damaged part. Yeah, that's true. And in many ways, it'd be better if you could adapt your ASCs into IPSCs and so not have to be sacrificing these young ESCs. But look, all life is precious, and life has to take these sacrifices to make hard decisions. So there you are. I hope you learned something that'll help you make your ultimate career choice a bit easier. So good luck, grow well and healthy, whatever you become. So,